this series, we're going to talk about um, building Twitter. So um, what we're going to start with is we're just going to build a basic kind of interface here, um, the ability to create tweets, and then uh, view the tweets. So when we think about Twitter, what does Twitter look like? There's a banner across the top. The main thing is just the tweet page. I'm going to start by making our work area a little bit taller, just because I like it to start with a little bit taller. And I'm going to grab a uh, group. So I'm just going to grab a group. I'm going to draw this box at the bottom. This is the box I'm going to work in for if someone's going to tweet. So I'm going to do a element. I'm going to change the style to a group border. Um, I just wanted to have a border. I think it looks a little nicer with the border, and that's what I want to do. So it'll be easier to find that one. Um, I'm going to do multi-line input, draw that inside of this group, and you'll see that if I'm on the page, the page is red. If I'm inside the group, group is red. Group is obviously on the page. So I'll just draw a box here. And then I wanted to figure out, you know, what do I want to designate uh, size or uh, length of a tweet? Um, I forget how much it actually is for Twitter. For ours, let's say it's 200 characters. Okay, so if I click on my input and I do maximum number 200 stretch, I can do a box that I know will fit around that much pretty easily. I can also do stretch to fit content, which will make this box grow bigger as the content goes. And I can show you kind of what that looks like. So if I do preview here, I'm not gonna be able to put more than 200 characters in this box. Also, the box will uh, go ahead and grow. Make sure it is sharing it. See how the box is growing? Perfect. Still can't do anything with it, but it grows. So now that I have that, I'm going to make this that big now. I'm actually going to shrink this box down just a little bit. I don't think we need it that big. Slide it over here. Um, maybe make this a little bit smaller. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a button down here in this group. Get a little bit smaller. And then I will make where this info is. So we're going to designate this creates a thing, but we also want a place for it to go. Um, so let's first create it. So let's do start workflow. We will create a new thing. We will create tweet. And it will literally be tweet data text. And this is just going to be the multi-line input A's value, right? So whatever they put in there, this tweet is going to record it here. Um, we're going to count some other stuff in this too. So um, we might want to also put likes here. And this would be a number that we're going to have. Um, this is going to default to zero. And we don't have to make that default to anything, but we're going to start it as zero for every new tweet, and we're going to make sure it starts there. Um, and then later on, we're going to add a likes button. Okay. So I'm creating a tweet. Oh, almost forgot. Back to that workflow. After I create it, I want it to reset the relevant inputs. And what that's going to do is make this box empty, which is what I want. And then I'm going to go make a repeating group. Right now I'm just building the functionality of being able to tweet. So grab this box. This would kind of fit in here. Would good. There we go. Perfect. So now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and make a group. And I want to make a group inside of here. 
And then I want this group to also have a border. Right, so it shows up each as their individual. I'm gonna actually go ahead and edit this. Uh, how does that look? Nope. Or let me make this a little bit more. There we go. That's how I want to have that set up for now. I'll lower this down here like that. Great. So I have a Twitter feed here. I have my repeating group here. Sorry, this is my retreating group. This will be like the Twitter feed. And I have a way to enter tweets here. Um, so this will be what the tweet is. Right? So I then, what else do I need? I want to have a button. So I'm going to grab an icon over here. I'm going to pop an icon out. I'm just going to click that in the group. I'm going to make this much smaller, but I'll make this tiny. And we'll change the icon here. We'll change it. This is going to be a like or here. Let's make it a uh, where is it? We'll make it a high five. Actually, let's make this a little bigger. We can fill the side up a little bit. There we go. We'll make this a high five. And I'll grab text too and drop text right there. Oop, make that box just a little bit bigger here. And we'll do dynamic data on this text. So on this, we will do dynamic text, current cells thing. I didn't designate what it is yet. Great. So before I can do anything with data in here, I got to have a type of data. My type of data is a tweet. So I'll do a search for tweets. And right now, that's all we have to do because there's only going to be tweets from um, this main user right now. So delete all that out. And I want to do insert, di insert dynamic data, current cells tweet. This would be um, likes. So I want that to display the number of likes. And then I want this to start my workflow. I want it to data and things, make changes to a thing. I want it to current cells tweet. I want it to take the likes and I want it to do a plus one on it. Oops, I just I did wrong. So likes, I need to do current cells, tweets, likes, plus one. So we're gonna add to it. So this basically says, how many likes does it currently have? Add one to that. Then we have a like on here, right? So we don't want someone to just be able to jam it a whole bunch of times. We got to figure out a way to um, to do that. Make it so that it is not uh, clicked a whole bunch of different times to add those up, which we can do here. But first, let's go ahead and actually make it so you can see the tweet. So I'm going to go text. I'm going to draw a text box inside this group I have here. And I want this text to be current cells. Oops. Pin groups tweet. Not the right one. So I actually made this a little bit more difficult than it needs to be. I'm going to go back to this group I made here, and I'm actually going to delete that because it does not need to be there. All I really need to do is take this text and draw a quick text in there. In this text, I just need to do dynamic data, current cells tweet, tweet data. And then that will make it all show up in here. And then I want to do 
If it's shorter, I want to make it shorter. So a shorter tweet will take up less. You won't have lots of uh, blank space. Recognize links and emails. We will make them blue. I'm going to make mine blue at least. There we go. Great. Now we'll preview it. So I did a test tweet on this before recording and it came back as high and we can just keep adding to it, but I can also do Let's see what happens when I do this. It's just creating a nice sizable tweet there. But you can also see here how I have this ordered and I have it ordered in a way that is making it so that my new ones are showing up on the bottom, but when I think about Twitter, they show up on the top. So how do I get tweets to show up on the top? I'm going to go back here. I'm going to click on my search for tweets, and I want to sort my created date, and I want them to be in descending order. So all I did was go into my repeating group, I went into my search and I said, I'm going to sort them by created date and put them in descending order. And now let's see how that looks on here. Now I have reversed it. But we also now have the problem of anyone being able to just go ahead and keep liking things. Also, we have the problem that it's doing that. So we need to make that box bigger. Uh, make that a little bit bigger for that. And then we also had the problem of this still being there, um, which we can just, I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy with workflows and I am going to paste it with workflows. I'm going to drag that. I'm going to set it right on top of it there. I'm going to double click. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the icon. So I have a high five there. Maybe there's a th thumbs down icon I could use. I accidentally hit like and I want to make it unliked. thumbs down. There we go. I actually want it to be thumbs down, but I also want this to be not visible on page load. And start workflow. When this gets clicked, I want it to do minus one instead of plus one because I want it to take away mine. But I still have the problem of these two being on top of each other. I just happen to now have this one showing up under on top of this one, or it won't show up when the page loads. So what I need to do is make it so this one shows up and make it so this one goes away after it's clicked. So conditional when let's go here. No, oh, that's what I need to do. Toggle. So make changes to tweet and then we need to go to element actions and we need to toggle. We need to toggle this element. So it would be this. And what toggle does is toggle will just say, hey, this goes from visible to non-visible. We're gonna do the same thing here with this element that we're gonna lay on top of it, which is going to be, where did the toggle go? There, toggle, which is going to be the thumbs down. We'll toggle that one on. So I then want to drag this back on top of that. Great. And let's take a look at how that looks as it loads. There we go. So now I only have my hands here. I can like that, dislike it. But now I have it when I click on this, I can dislike too much. So I need to fix that. Let's go back into here. Got my thumbs down. 
got my conditional there. I have my workflow here. I need to add my workflow here, same way I did last time. So I need to go back in and I need to say toggle the uh, hand thumb down. And I also need to toggle. Uh, thumbs up. And then let's take a look at another tweet. So I can't make this go any differently. I'll be 12 or 13 forever now if I'm the only user. So this one that has zero, I can make it one or I can make it zero. High five, thumbs up, high five, thumbs up. I should just change that. Uh, you know what? I don't like using those icons because it implies uh, that many people didn't like it. Let's change the icons. Let's change this thumbs up to a solid thumbs up. And then we'll do slide you over. We'll do you as a where's thumbs up. Come on, let's do an empty thumbs up. It was super easy to find on the other one. Ah, ah, there it is. Empty thumbs up. Perfect. So empty thumbs up. Solid thumbs up. Perfect. Great. So I'm the user. This is my feed. Put this up here. This up here, I guess. Now I'm just moving things for the sake of moving them, honestly, but I'm tweeting. Um, but now what if I want to curate what's in these? Um, I need to know who uh, I would want to see, right? I need to be able to evaluate users, say what users are doing things. So like this, I'm gonna drag this down just a pinch here. I can put up here, data so i can go here and i can go there drag this across and i can make a username there um let me go ahead here and what i want to do is go into my data because i don't have this in yet so tweet right i want to connect my tweet uh, to a creator, right? So I have the creator here. It's a built-in field. It's already going to say it. I want to use that to pull a username. Username. This would be like the at uh, uh, for Twitter. So it's like at Shane, right? Actually, I think I might have to change one more thing in there. Nothing. Okay. Nothing changed in there. I think I'm good. I think I'm good for what I'm trying to show here. So I want to do insert dynamic data, do a search for a user. Okay. And then the constraints I want are the Unique ID equals current sales tweets, creators. Unique ID. Perfect. There should be only one value, so I want their username. Great. And I'm going to just go into app data. And I'm going to click here and see, I don't have users. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to create a user B myself create. There, aketfake.com. Wonderful, created it. And now when I go here, I should now see usernames or not. 
So I'm gonna put you here. Search, search for users. Wonder if I made that more complicated than I needed to. So, oh, no, I didn't I'm undo what I just did. So I'll redo it, but I didn't, I didn't create anything with a username because I was doing it all in the sandbox. You didn't have to be a user for it. So there's no username on um, whatever it made to make this. So, great. So I'll just put that right back in there. And then I will make a new tweet and we'll be able to see. Now it's still not pulling data. So let's see what I'm doing wrong here. So I'm doing a search. Let's just delete that. So I need a user. I'm searching for a user. Best way for me to find them would be to use their unique ID. I have the created by I know what I can do. Current tells tweets. Creators username. There we go. That was simpler because it's already connected inside the system that it knows who created it. So I was making it more complicated. You can make it just current tweets creators username. anything oh you know why i still don't have a I'm not running it as any user so very important to run things as a user sometimes if, and what i mean by that is this was not run by someone running as a user now testing as a user it says the name so user error there, but you got to make sure you log in as a user. And then I can like that. But we also have the ability here to publish tweets without information in them, which we don't want. So let's go here. Um, let's go with input should not be empty. So people cannot just uh, enter nothing tweets. Now we need other things to add. So I can just throw up a whole bunch of tweets and see myself. But if another user comes in, I can also see theirs because we're all just making tweets. But what if there's a list of people that I'm following and that's all I want to see? Like right now, if a whole bunch of people logged in, this would just be, well, I would have to manually enter all of them. But on top of that, they would be able to just tweet and everyone would see everything. It would be total chaos. You'd be seeing people you might not want to see. So we need a way to, uh, to add to that, to um, add a list of people that you would then be following. So we can work on that in the next video.